Well, I'm Sean Apostle. I'm here at Waterstep in Louisville, Kentucky with Lynn, Chastity, and Lepi. And we are going to look at the AfroDiv uh, water pump. It's a hand water pump, is that correct, Lynn? That is correct. And where do you typically find these machines? This is an AfroDiv or African developed pump. So you typically find this style pump or this pump in uh, the uh, African continent. Okay. And uh, typically, what would normally go wrong with one of these devices on the field? Uh, on the, the hand pumps, there are soft parts that are designed as wear points. Okay. So those soft points, it's an O-ring and a seal that typically uh, go wrong with these. There could be a broken rod on it, but typically it's the soft points. Okay. So what we'll do in this video is take apart the AfroDiv, um, show you step by step how to do that, and then check for those wear points and see uh, how to repair the device. The first thing we want to do is to remove the cover. There is one bolt that needs to be loosened but not removed and then when this bolt is loosened you can just lift the cover directly up. Removing this cover exposes the four bolts that hold uh, the pivot pins in place. There are two bolts on either side, two nuts on either side. Those nuts need to be loosened but not completely removed. And where would you get this device that we're using to loosen the the Though there are two uh, tools that uh, normally are used with the AfroDiv pump, these tools are readily available in the country because there are so many of those uh, pumps in the, in the field. So any large town hardware store uh, usually supplies the, the parts that you need and the uh, tools that you would need to work on them. Sometimes you break them loose with the wrench and then you can take your fingers and just loosen them enough so that you can uh, slide the pins out. All right, we've got the bolts loosened. What do we do next? Okay, what you want to do is you want to take the tool that you use to loosen the bolts with and there are two slots in the very top of the pump. Slide the tool in the slot and through the loop on the uh, end of the uh, sucker rod to support it while you remove the handle. Okay, after you've removed the cover and you have loosened the four nuts off of the pivot points, what you want to do is raise the handle about halfway up and very carefully slide the handle back out, letting it rest on the edge of the pump. You should be able just to slide it all the way back out so that you can now remove the pivot pin. It's a metal pin that goes all the way through and there's a plastic piece on either side that will just slide out. Once you've removed those, you can uh, lay those aside and then you can slide the handle out and set it aside for later installation. In the same way that you remove the pivot pins, there are also a set of pivots uh, on the top of the sucker rod. If you look down in the top of it, uh, you can see these. Slide the metal pin out one way and then the two plastic uh, bushings will come out also. Lay these aside for later installation.